If you're like me you have been searching for how to implement Particles.js but most videos are obsolete or do not work. Today I'll show you how to implement Particles.js and if you stick around long enough it'll show you some cool things you can do. First thing is creating your React project. It really doesn't matter how you do it but I'm just going to be using Create React App. Now install at ts particle slash react and at ts particle slash all. This will install all the packages you need. I'm going to start my site with npm start and create a components folder with a JS file named particles.js. Creating a components folder is optional but I like to keep things organized. Now inside particles.js, copy and paste this code that I left in the description, and while you're there you should give this video a like. Don't worry if it looks complicated. I don't even know what most of it does. Now find your app.js and import the particle file. It should look similar to what I put. Then create the component and give it an ID of whatever you want. I made it particles. The ID will let you edit some of the CSS for your particles. If you want to you can stop here, but I'm going to be showing you some other things you can do. If this video helped you out, a like or a sub would be appreciated. So as you can see here, adding text and other elements will not appear. This is where our ID comes in hand. In your CSS file, specify your ID which in my case is hashtag particles, followed by canvas. Then just copy the rest of the lines and don't do what I did and put a dot instead of a hashtag. Now your text and elements should appear just fine. Let's get into how to change our particles. In your particles file you should see a list of options. I recommend you did what I did and just experiment with these settings to understand a little on how they work, but I'm not going to explain a whole lot because I don't really know a lot myself. As you can see here, you can change how the particles interact when the mouse hovers and clicks. I use the mode push when the user clicks which creates more particles. When the mouse hovers, it uses the mode grab which creates lines connecting the mouse to nearby particles. You can also change the particle's color, speed, opacity, size, density, links, and a whole lot more. If you want to see more examples you can head to particles.js.org and look at the demos and presets. If you had any issues or questions shoot me a comment below.